And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. I give you the rundown on tennis coverage every single day. We're back in the studio tonight in the world's number one. Igas Fiantek, she's done it again, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the big story back in Montreal, Iga was caught practicing with tape over her mouth. And a lot of people speculated that she did that possibly as a way to kind of fend off the media and be silent about so many of the issues going on of the WTA tour in particular Montreal the weather conditions you know I was there for that tournament the weather was horrible Elena Rabakina had a lot to say and it possibly ruined her chances of winning that tournament but we want to discuss tonight guys mouth taping is it safe is it safe Igas Fiantek is doing this and is, is it something she should be doing? Now, Ika Fiontech mentioned this was the idea of her fitness coach, right? The, the objective is improve conditioning. Now, Ika mentioned it's harder to breathe when you're only breathing with your nose and it's easier for her heart rate to go up. I get it, right? I, I understand what they're trying to do, but the question is, is this actually effective? Does this really work? Now, a while back, I tried something, just something in the shower, right? To expand my lungs and improve my, my stamina. When you're taking a shower, try to hold your breath. So close your eyes, do whatever you need to do and hold your breath underwater. My goal was to hold my breath for two minutes. Now, if you, if you, if you haven't done this, of course, you're, you're probably not going to start off at whatever your goal is. If your goal is even 30 seconds or a minute. 90 seconds or two minutes you'll probably come in less than that right if you're not a professional swimmer or something but the objective is to see if you can improve your stamina see if you can improve holding your breath right which will expand your lungs and essentially put you in better shape and it worked for me so doing this every day for several weeks yes holding my breath i was able to make it up to two minutes eventually so looking at what Ika is doing here with the taping over her mouth, I get it. I, I understand it. And um, does it work, though? That's the question. Now, Ika, if you're not familiar, before tennis, she was a really good swimmer and um, swimming was her passion. And listen, guys, I know she's a freakish athlete. She's an amazing athlete. I think she could have had a career as a professional swimmer if she chose to. But. I forget the story I talked about this years ago. If, if anyone is familiar, comment below. I know her dad introduced her to tennis, but I, I, you know what? I can't, I forget the story. It was so many years ago when I covered it online. I don't remember why she actually stopped swimming. Can, can someone comment in uh, Polish fans? Comment below. Why did Igas Fiontek stop swimming? But nonetheless, Let's talk about this mouth taping, right? It's trending online in terms of a sleep hack, but is the science behind it actually proven to benefit the people that do it? Now, a study was done right on 66 patients and of the 66 patients, 36 of them, more than half of them showed no improvement during sleep while taping their mouth. Now, this is interesting because I've been hearing for the longest that LeBron James, the, in my opinion, the greatest basketball player of all time. Yes, I've been hearing that he sleeps with tape over his mouth. Now, I actually sell something in my online store. I sell something called Silent Snooze, right? It's basically um, some type of uh, it's 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 a nasal type of uh, strip you put over it and it, it's expensive too. the stuff is expensive. I have tons of these packs I've never actually used it but people actually buy it a lot from my store it's called silent snooze and it comes in what this one's lavender clinically tested it says here opens nasal passages for easier breathing and reduce snoring by stimulating the septum this stuff is expensive it's called silent snooze right check it out but nonetheless this study showed that taping your mouth doesn't really do anything. So why does LeBron James do it now? You know, I've heard for the longest that LeBron James 
tapes his mouth while sleeping because it helps improve his endurance. And just look at LeBron, he's a freak athlete. Literally, at his age, he's still one of the best players in the NBA. His numbers are amazing. I, th I could have never imagined someone would pass Michael Jordan or, or Karl Malone or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the leading scorer in the NBA. I could have never imagined LeBron James would do it. And listen, I've been collecting his stuff the last 20 years. I literally have a LeBron James collection. That's It's got to be worth over $70,000. I have literally just about every LeBron James card you can think of. Um, and there's a lot that I don't have, but I have some good ones and I have a huge collection. I'm really into LeBron James. I think he's amazing what he's done. And look, the word is he spends several million dollars a year on his body. So this had me thinking if LeBron James is taping his mouth, regardless of what these studies have shown, there's got to be some truth to it. Because LeBron at his age, he, he's not going to do anything that that's not going to benefit him, right? Now, let's take a look at some of these studies, right? The objective in taping your mouth while sleeping is to improve snoring. We know that. But breathing through your nose has several benefits. It lowers blood pressure. It helps filter allergens. And listen, guys, in case you have allergies, grapefruit, lemons, all the citrus fruits, they're really good with clearing the nasal passage. Keep that in mind excess buildup of mucus it could really it could really make it hard to breathe through your nose and look that could be another side effect of a poor diet but nonetheless breathing through your nose it helps regulate the temperature of your breath right and it also helps humidify the air that you breathe and moisturizes your throat and decreases anxiety however in contrast to that Breathing through your mouth, guys, it helps improve bad breath, sore throat, and dry mouth. Now, of course, those benefits don't necessarily stack up to each other, but Igas Fiontech, LeBron James, do they know something that we don't? That's the key question here. Or is this a media publicity stunt to get people talking about Igas Fiontech and or LeBron James? Because LeBron does it while he's sleeping, Iga's doing it while she's working out. Is this to get people on Twitter and the internet talking about these star athletes? Because Iga said it was her trainer's idea. Is he the one that's doing this to keep his name relevant for a future possible departing of ways when it happens eventually? If it does. Remember the trainer that made Iga Swiatek tape her mouth? Well, it helped her win another Grand Slam. Or did it? Listen, my personal opinion is I think it will benefit, right? If you put a lot more stress on your lungs while working out and training, I think it's going to help improve. That's how that's how amazing the body is, right? If you put stress on certain areas of the body, your body will adapt to it and get better. So my personal opinion is LeBron James does it. It has to work. If Iga Swiatek does it, it's going to work. And I've said this in the past, you know, watching as much tennis as I do, especially Iga Swiatek, I watch all of her matches. There were times where this past summer where she was bulking up, adding strength and muscle, her stamina was compromised. And I've said this time and time again, if you play a particular style, like if you're a short rally player, if you're going for winners and looking for winning shots in five shots or less, well, when you're playing players that play the opposite style that literally love to go 10, 15, 20 shot rallies, something's got to give. If you're not used to playing a particular style and your opponent forces you to play their style, it's going to make you uncomfortable. And listen, guys, the taping of the mouth, what do I personally think? I think it might bring out Iga 2.0. And that's going to be a scary sight for the tour in 2024, ladies and gentlemen. Iga Swiatek, the Polish queen, improves her power and stamina. That is going to be scary. Now, I will be watching very closely and monitoring her stamina to see if this works. Tennis in a minute. Like the video. Show some love. 
tennis fans from Poland all across the world show some love for Iga Swiatek, working hard in the gym. And I've said this time and time again, when it comes to showing the fans love, Iga is one of the best there is on tour. Now you guys reciprocate that love, drop a heart for Iga, and we'll be right back.